And it looks like like we're gonna also open up all of our paths to Set previous to areas, which is nice. Hiram Shaw, for how long has the Great Stone Abbey overlooked my quaint church? I cannot remember its presence, and yet it is here as if it has always stood. Perhaps I have forgotten it. Truly, my mind seems to play tricks on me these days. No doubt a side effect of the great power of Cathan that I have become a conduit for. And yet, these women that have appeared alongside it, newcomers and clearly outsiders of Salem, they will be investigated. <laughs> and we know what came of that. The Judgment. The souls lost to Galactus's destruction reach out for the lingering hope of rebirth, whether on their own world or beyond. This card represents awakening and forgiveness as well as truthful self-reflection. Have anything up here? Autumn be praised. We take that. So I'm thinking with the legendary blueprint, we upgrade the. We upgrade the Annihilation, because that, that that just maxes its damage output. And then we could even look at modding it, right? That would actually be really cool. <laughs> okay, is there anything else in this little area? Broke that down. This is going to loop us back around. Hiram Shaw, I'm pleased to admit that the coven has been eliminated, deemed guilty by myself and my congregation. We did what was necessary to pave the way for a brighter future. Now I must turn my attentions to the woman, to the women of that cursed transient abbey. Perhaps there's a chance I could draw Lilith out and share my truth. Is there any chance that she would listen? I must try. Got another haven here, beautiful. I see a couple of those weird... can't remember what these plants are called, but... I don't think this is breakable, right? No. Set is a temperamental god. The corpse flowers. The devil! Damon Hellstrom is a vision of power as he stands before flames, hungrily grinning at a chest of unknown treasures. This card represents the ego and greed as well as temptation. Yeah. Ooh, look, sneaky little break. Oh, this is the thing we saw from above. Okay, so what is this? It's another mystery. Ah, Black I see. pyramid of arcane stone crafted by the Sisters of the Coven. This is like very... Um, This is very alien. Fascinating. Stone pyramid. The goddess disagrees. Okay. Love that. Love that. Vial of shadows, free concealment. Thank you. Looks like it says we solved that as well. And we got some cool pallets here. Uh, one thing we should kind of look at. I know we stick to mainly the, the legendary suits, but there's some potential cool pallets here. In the common section. Yeah, I mean, these are so good, though. Okay, well, we'll worry about darkening them up if they come out on a mission. Okay. Hippus does not seem to agree. Let's just make sure that if it that's were meant cool. to be broken, Seth would gladly assist. So I have to imagine stuff like this now will break. Like these natural obstructions. For some reason I can't get that. Ooh, sneaky! Something is happening to me. Is this the price I must pay for what I've done? My mind races, consumed by a spiraling darkness. Even my body appears to be changing right before my eyes, and this dark power seeps out of me, bubbling up like oil from the earth. Have I made a mistake? And yet, when the babe's tiny fingers curl around mine, I'm reminded I did the right thing. We need four more... 
journals. Okay, I can't get that either, so we must be able to break this. Yeah, okay. Set regards no obstacles. Cool, so there's sometimes Such multiple parts. So this is bringing me back into the garden. Right, so we have this area here. We climbed up there to see over top of that weird little pyramid. Uh, but there's also an obstruction here. And we saw a bunch of stuff from above previously. Oh, this is sick, man. I'm pumped about this now. Set regards no obstacles. The Devil's Den. Oh, that sounds great. Margaret Adams, her power is still felt even today. I need to find two more sets of bones. <laughs> I love it. Look at the fog. Oh, yeah, right. We saw this from above, too. So this should be our fourth um, midnight sun. Lilith's journal. Without Gregor, I am empty. What is the purpose of fighting against evil when something so simple as sickness can take away my only joy in this world? I worry that I could lose the child that I carry within my womb. So many lives lost in the village, so little hope to be found. Hiram Shaw and a select few of his followers appear to be immune. Or perhaps he is one of that has released his sentence upon the people of Salem. Uh, so that lines up with what Caretaker was saying. And Stevens, another member of the Salem Coven. I wonder if these are... These names are, like, special people. Like, maybe on the dev team or, like, family members or something. This should be the fourth one. Is that just going to spawn us a chest on the square here? Probably. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Getting all these sick legendary chests. Okay. Still no combat bonus for us, so we could open that. Does it kind of have a thing where it shows us any potential outstanding mysteries? Oh, I wonder. Because one of the suits is to solve... You get it from solving all the mysteries, right? Or am I... Hold on, am I wrong about that? Collect all tarot cards and progress the story. Okay, maybe I'm incorrect about that. Huh. Yeah, maybe I'm incorrect about that. I thought I saw something about solving all the mysteries, but... Could be wrong. Hunter's Journal. I've waned... Or I've warmed to the collar that I wear. Sarah and Agatha have taught me how to use it as a channel. A means to harness the wildness of my powers into something controlled. Something that I can really put to use. Feels like my lessons have shifted. No more hypotheticals or talking through scenarios. But instead, more practical training. Sparring, even. There's a brief look of surprise on Sarah's face whenever I best her, and I savor those moments. Though they are rare for now. The Dead Valley. Okay. We have to check both sides here. Man, there's just chests everywhere. This is an epic. May Richard's power still flows through the skull. Hey, found them all. Epic whole face prop and a key. Let's check that. Specter and Justice. Ooh, Punisher style. That's kind of cool. I would like to get into, like, maybe a masked version of us at some point. That would be fun. I could take it no longer, and I fled into the night to confront Shaw. He has been sealed away forever. If there was a man inside of him once, it was no longer. The dark hold took away any humanity that had remained long ago, and now I have it. I have this cursed scroll. If only I had moved quicker on him, my dear Gregor would still... Perhaps there's maybe an answer here within this powerful page. Perhaps there may be some good that could come of this power. 
Um, this feels like where a key would spawn. You know? I'm not going to open the epic chest yet. We'll keep it marked. I can always jump back out here. Um, but I don't see any, like, uh, reveal spots. So... Autumn does not answer. Maybe not in that location. Ooh, this is a little sneaky one. Ooh! Hello. I will admit that I'm fearful when the idea first came to me, but with Cathan's gentle push, I knew that it was the right thing to do. So I've designated a hanging tree, which we've inspected and learned about, for those that seek to oppose us. There is only room in Salem for those seeking the truth, those who are good, and those who listen carefully to what I share. We cannot tolerate those afflicted with darkness, and they must be purged. What a lovely, what a lovely guy. I fear I will lose this baby. I find myself in this dark chamber beneath ground, unable to fight away the sickness that ravages my body. I thought that I could find hope within the dark holds magic, but I worry it's too late for me, for my child. Could there be a future where we see the light again? You know what would be cool with these pages that we find? Um, it'd be really neat if they had just like a little, um, it doesn't have to be like a full motion video or anything, but just a few kind of pictures encapsulating what that event was. I think it would be nice. Ooh. Okay, so we can craft Cursed Effigy. <gasps> cursed Effigy is, uh, is that, okay, this is the one that applies vulnerable to every Hydra. Right? So that's pretty cool, but now that we're in the second part of the story, maybe slightly less cool. Less powerful, but still good. And then we can craft legendary gifts as well. Still life. So we need one more Lilith journal. Set has decided not to. Okay, so I'm way up here. I just want to be sure that I'm covering all of this ground cleanly. There must not be anything here. There is only so much that this can do. Like just to make sure that I don't have to do backtracking if I miss stuff. I probably have, but I've done a pretty good job so far. Oh, you know what? In here... Oh no, this isn't the one. But, you know what? I will open this now. Okay. We'll take all of those pallets and the credits. I did say we were going to wait until morning at that one time. Why is this making a very sketchy noise? I think, like, that's where the seal was, right? in breaking that. Anyways, there's a, uh, there's a wall behind the statue of one area. Like this. Okay, so that part's now explored, and I feel pretty confident that it's cleared. Here we go. Another thing we can break. Set is in good humor today. The flower girl, common masterwork. You're gonna drop a common painting on me here? You Jeez. That's rough. I should actually put those paintings up, at least. Ah, here we go. There's this. That's not the one. That ain't it. Autumn must not see it. Nothing can stand in his way. Okay. We're gonna make sure we go open the legendaries first. Okay, so in here... Yeah. 
it's going to be so hard to track down all of the different walls and stuff that we've been stuck behind. I don't think there's anything at Agatha's. We've read whatever this is, right? Yeah, it just stays, okay. Okay, so this is fine. We went up here and purified some vines that got us up to this. And that's where one of the seals was. One of the fragments. So we're all done there. The hanging tree. I think it might be behind this one. Where the wall break is? Yeah. The father of serpents is smiling. This should reach us to that chest, I think, that was blocked from us. Wouldn't mind a page of a journal or something, too, but it doesn't look like we're getting that. Okay, radius of area of effect abilities increased by 50% for all heroes. Nice. Oh, you know what? Uh, when I got Demolition Squad before, I didn't notice that it was for all heroes. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, so that wrapped there. I don't think we have anything to break or anything in here. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind this. I imagine if you're like if you're still watching, obviously you don't mind this, but um, this is kind of cool because we're piecing together like the last little things, like whatever's left, whatever's left, and we have all these cool little hidden spots Nothing that have been taunting us for so long. Oh, here we go. Hiram Shaw, we are but a mere speck in the cosmos. Cathan, ever waiting, ever watching, he controls all. I have been his plaything all along. And now he taunts me as I wither in this darkness. Damned by the Sisters of Transia, death grant me freedom. Okay, so that's... We need two more there. Got an epic chest that we'll happily come back to at some point. Baboom. Father of Serpents is smiling. Gideon's Cross. Have we been here? I guess not. Autumn, show me the way. May Richards, one of the witches. The witch May Richard provided little information despite prolonged interrogation using all available means. Her crimes were confirmed by eyewitness testimony rather than confession. <laughs> so we're still missing three of those. Spider lilies. Caretaker's cookbook. A night shift palette and blessed relic. Schloss Mikkel in Moonlight. Uh, here's another one. Bound to the rate or bound to the rack beyond the point of normal human tolerance, assuredly an unrepentant witch. So we need two more now. This would be the time where a walk button would be so nice, because I just don't want to miss anything. But like this also zooms me in, so you some peripheral stuff can get lost. Here we go, Lilith. It is a brand new year, and yet I do not feel hopeful. 
I'm drowning in my melancholy. The poor women that had sent for our help. I'm so afraid that we will not be able to deliver them from their torment. This man, Hiram Shaw, is truly a vessel of evil. Whether he was before he found that cursed scroll, I cannot say. But now there is no hope for his soul. I wish that we could undo the lives taken. Nice. Uh, mother's child rare palette in full solid eye color. Hold up. Let's look at it. Okay, so... This one is forged. Ancestral, maybe? Forebear. Well, that's kind of cool. It's a little bit too light hunter-y for me. But it is, it is nice. Faithbreaker. We have Malaise. We have Null's Blessing. That's super nice, too. Oh, look at this. Demon Child. So the passive here gain... Oh, Charlie gains resist each turn. Oh, interesting. Hunter and Charlie attacks have a greatly increased chance to be critical when drawn. Oh, neat. Okay. With the angels, that's super light. So I'm thinking maybe what we unlocked there was a palette for Demon Child. I'm just going to clear these out. And then eye color. <sighs> oh, yes, become one with the darkness. Okay, love it. Don't love the suit. Don't love the suit. I mean, it's cool, but it's... We're not doing that. Uh, what were we on before? Oh yeah, Ancestral. I wish you could set up a couple of custom um, looks. And save them as, as presets. Or, like, if you made custom sword options, um, it would be nice if those were retained when you change one or two other things, you know? Hunter's Journal. Agatha explained to us a ritual in her coven for witches that come of age and master their powers. It wasn't a ritual we were able to emulate in full, but we tried. And it made me feel very proud of how far I've come. Even Sarah seemed to let her guard down for a short time and enjoy herself. It almost felt like a party. A very... Small, very intimate, quiet party, but a party. Tonight, under the full moon and with what remains of my family, I became the hunter. Now my destiny calls me to fight. Very cool. I need one more hunter page. Oh, my God. Okay. Could be anywhere. <laughs> could, be, could be anywhere. Could be in this maze. Got anything up here? Just some spider lilies. All right. Oh, what is this? Tarot. Makeshift this? altar. Dark ritual site used to channel dark and corruptive magics. Gotta be. Ha! <laughs> that feels good. There's also a little altar in the back there that you can see. The Fool. Deadpool leaps from a building's edge before the night sky, grinning with pride. This card represents individuality and adventure, but can also mean irresponsibility and naivety. And two more, guys. This is the this is the completionist episode right here. Full on. Okay, so we're gonna mark that. Now, okay, there's the other thing we saw in the little reveal cutscene. And, like, don't worry. At, at some point, when we get further along, I'll just start spam opening chests. I know they're free, but I think strategically using them for the combat bonuses is super handy. Drowning was not enough for Sarah Howe. The Inquisition felt they needed a device to carry out their work in a more efficient manner. The mechanism was tested in great length in this suspect. I need one more. 
Okay, so I did see another breakable wall on the other side too, so... We're gonna check this, and then we're gonna go back and check that. The son of Gaia I actually appreciate that there's no shortage of keys. Ever. So now where's this? Set revels in his blessing. Where am I here? Okay, now we're entering previous areas, right? This still sketches me out that nothing's in here. Set must not be listening today. Set is in good humor today. There it is. Such humiliation being led into the town square and put on display like an animal. Still, she revealed nothing of the coven's effort. Elizabeth Smith. Skull Helm, legendary whole head prop. Written account of the interrogations of those accused of witchcraft during the 17th century. Okay. I mean, that is badass. If you guys saw the, the fashion video that I made, I used this to cover my incredible hair <laughs> in that video. That was cool. All right. Carry on, we must. Spider Lily's grab. We must. Wrong franchise, but kind of close. Okay. Now, from here, um, there's a couple other break spots that I can think of near Agatha's altar. Uh... Let's just, let's do a, let's do a cruise. See if we can find, we're looking for stuff that's corrupted. Uh, we, oh yeah, we have this stone terrace code. Let's do that. Okay, so this one, from the screenshot, is umbrella. Happy V. Triangle Man, or Woman, or whatever you prefer, a uh, Boat Person, and Mountain. Bing Bang Boom, Bing Bang Boom. Okay, sick. Standing Stones, mystery completed. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, I know there was a tarot card here. Autumn right. thinks otherwise. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. We got the thing under there. I could take a look in these again, just to be certain that there's no weird things hiding. This is going to take us back to the church. Now, I don't know if there's anything in here that I can think of. So, I'm going to go back. Okay. So we did the standing stones. I feel like... Oh yeah, okay. I came up here and I was just thinking to myself, I want to make sure that I go and check these other areas. I think we're, we're clear here. I don't have anything to break. The only, the only break walls that stand out in my mind currently are the ones by Agatha's altar. So... If it was here, I'll have to show me. Uh, 
Um, but I am gonna I'm gonna run there instead of teleporting. Just oh jeez, look at this. If it was here, Autumn would show me. Autumn reveals all. Oh my god. Can't believe we almost missed that. And this one too? Wow. The son of Gaia moves. You know, guys, with all this extra arcane knowledge that I don't need, I wish I could give it to you. I do. That would be nice. Oh, there's an obstacle there. Uh, the big wall that we've talked about before. Uh, I'll take a common chest. Classic legendary pallet. Boom, just like that. Sure, we'll take that. I mean, at some point, it's going to have to give us stuff that we don't have yet, right? So. Another Secret haven. No wow. Obstacles. Okay, the tower. The 35-story Baxter building is pummeled by a strong storm facing heavy winds and lightning strikes. This card represents loss, chaos, and a sudden change in one's reality. I need one more. One more. Hunter the Explorer. Okay, that's got to be like... You found all the havens. Gotta be, right? It's funny, normally in games, I, I don't care about, like, uh, collectibles and stuff, but um, because there's a, t like, tangible rewards associated with these and, and lore tied to the, um, things that we're finding. It's really nice. If I go this way, let's check. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's anything there. Nothing tricky. This just loops around, but I'll grab the reagents that I can see. This always felt like it should be something. I think there's like a... there's a um, scroll here that we found at one point, but... Here we go. A tarot. Oh boy. Charlie would not have done this, but someone or something dug up this grave. Uh, that is a very astute observation. What is this? What the f- Okay. The Magician. Dr. Doom holds his goblet in one hand and other offers a glimpse into the perpetual nature of things in the other. This card represents possibility and determination as well as focus. Okay, so there's the cut. There it is. The mysterious tarot cards have been solved. And now we have a Salem suit. Which is pretty cool. I feel like the Salem suit's pretty cool. It's a little bit... Um, Oh, that's a very small cape. Maybe if we get this into some different palettes, it could be kind of nice. We'll still go back to this one. Just gonna clear the new notifications. And then it was a passive. So Salem's Savior. When Hunter KOs one or more Lilin with an ability, 50% chance to draw a card. 
See, that's also pretty cool. So these last two, we actually have to put a lot of consideration into. This one, I think if you build your deck around it, it's kind of nice. Um, it's obviously very expensive because the exhaust cards usually have a lot of heroism you got to spend. Um, but not always, but not always. But I do like this too. One or more Lillen. So basically 50% chance to draw a card. See, here's how I would change this. I would say when the hunter KOs uh, two enemies with one card play, you guarantee draw a card. Because then you could do like, even if it's just a quick knockback, you draw a card. But like eventually that kind of whittles down, right? It's, it's immediate power at the start of a round or the start of a match when you need it. But anyways, I'm not a game designer. Interesting. Little concern for its sanctity. Place item. What the frick? What would go in there? He sees our path. Oh, okay. These? Taken from their proper proper burial grounds. Weird. Okay, so we have another one. Another we're just legendary chests freaking galore right now. This is incredible. Okay, so now we're gonna come out here. We're gonna tag this legendary chest as well. Um Yeah. But I'm gonna i I'm gonna save it. Set has decided not to. There's also uh, potentially an obstacle by the end of that stream. This place has always kind of been like not much Bottom going does on here. Not answer. Huh. That would have been sick. If it were meant to be broken, Seth would gladly assist. Okay, so we're at the back of the abbey here. What kind of moon are we looking at here, by the way? Waning. That actually might be a uh, Wondagore moon as well. Okay, so this is the shortcut through to this area. Nothing in there. We're going to come up on that stream over here somewhere. Always get this path confused. Back here. Yeah, I know. I don't think this is a thing. He does not seem interested in breaking that. <laughs> no, he doesn't, Hunter. Thanks, pal. Thank you. Okay, there are for sure two things over here. Can stand oh, these way. bottles. Forgot about these. The vessel has seen better days. So we still need three more of those. And I have no clue what those are for.
Now look at this. Set regards no obstacles. Where is this? Where am I? Oh, I'm way down here. Well, this is spooky. Autumn must not see it that way. What the hell? What's this about? Nothing, I guess. Is that possible? <laughs> Man, I got so many black trumpets, I've got a whole orchestra ready to fire here. Murky apothecary vessel, innocent victim of the witch trials. Two men contemplating the moon. And... Kiram Shaw. Forgive me, Father, for my sights wander. Though I find myself drifting further and further from my beloved wife into my work, I did not expect that my heart would lead me astray as my mind does. And to such a wretch as Lilith, I should curse the ground upon her feet. And yet I cannot help but fantasize about the power we would share if she were by my side. We could align our causes and seek out the remaining Darkhold pages together. We would be unstoppable. One more of his journals we need. Okay. This little blue path here, like, this tells me that there should be something going on here, right? Like... There must not be anything here. She does not see it happening. He hears me, but has no answers. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we... Maybe something else triggers that or something? Huh. Okay, so this is at the end of, of the stream. Autumn thinks otherwise. Weird. I can't help but feel like I am missing something back here. I'm just gonna pause and save just in case anything crazy happens. One sec. Okay. Just because when we had that crash talking to caretaker didn't save anything so abby exploration stuff i don't know what triggers auto saves but huh okay so i can't think of any other spots there obviously are some, because we're missing things. We could do a... an altar sacrifice. I would love to just, like, stumble on a random page somewhere. Was this bowl always here? Do I have anything? I have a knife. Almost as if it were meant to be. Let's try breaking a knife. It seems my offering was accepted. Okay.
Okay, found one. It's a hunter's journal. Agatha and Sarah have collared me like a dog, like a beast, this ward around my neck. They say it is for my own protection. I should believe them. I do truly, but I cannot help these feelings of betrayal. As if they fear me, like they fear the darkness that is always creeping in the shadows. Perhaps I have some of that darkness within me, and that is what they fear. Perhaps I should fear it too. What if the darkness that hunts us from afar is also hunting me from within? Ooh, nice. Okay, so that's the full white eye color. That'd be good for... That's. I mean, that's still creepy. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, in terms of things we need to find, I need two apothecary vessels, two Wanda journals, and one Hiram Shaw journal. I'm going to keep looking. Well, that was cool. Um, that actually... Okay, so... <laughs> I didn't know if that was going to do anything. But this statue here in... Where are we? In Lilith's garden had a crack in it and turns out I could break it. So that makes me wonder if I can do something with all of the other statues uh, with these type of, like all of these statues where the challenges were. So I'm gonna probably check those out. I'm still just trying to find the other few things. So wish me luck. Okay, I have searched high and low and I am short on a few things. Not too many though. Hunter's Journal complete. Hiram Shaw, I need one more. Apothecary Vessels, I need two more. Wanda's Journal, I need two more. And I have no idea where these could be. I literally did a whole thing of the of the entire Abbey Grounds. Either there's something that will happen in the future that gets us access to something, or I'm just not seeing it right now. So that's... It's possible. It's entirely possible. Um... We are going to rest for the evening. I collected about a million reagents while I was out there. And uh, that feels pretty nice. But let's sleep for now. We still have to do our Gamma Coils research from the day before we did the trial. And yeah. We probably have some friendship level ups. And if you guys have ideas of things that I may have missed, uh, hit me up for sure. Let's level up magic. You wanted to speak? I see you, Hunter. I notice what you've been up to. And what have I been up to exactly? Bad things. Very <laughs> bad things. The worst. You should see the look on your face. I meant that in a good way. You're embracing the darkness more and more every day, owning it, but not letting it own you. And more importantly, you're proving to be quite a good friend. <laughs> you're using the F word. Ileana, you just used the F word. I did. You are my friend, and I am yours. Uh, maybe it is your friendship that has made me more comfortable using the term. I do not keep a lot of them, so don't screw it up by defecting to the light side, okay? <laughs> Me? Go to the light side? <laughs> Never. I love that. For years in this realm, I felt out of place. I was a sorceress who used the darkness within her for the cause of light and life. No one understood me, and most people were terrified. Then I met the Midnight Suns, and they showed me how to make a home in this world. It never felt right for a bad girl like me to fight with the good guys. Until you showed me how. You have shown me a lot too, Ileana. Perhaps, but I haven't told you everything. My time growing up in Limbo was difficult. The creature who brought me there... His name is Mephisto. Okay. The Prince of Lies? The that was the voice. Master of the realm of lost souls? That Mephisto? The very same. He sought to blacken my soul with corruption. Forced me to hurt. To curse. To kill. I hate what he did. What he made me do. But without it, I am not the person you know. And I would never have met you. Am I a monster for being grateful it happened as it did? 
Of course not. A terrible creature inflicted pain on a friend of mine. Worse, he made her think it was her own fault. It was my fault. He was always the monster, Ileana. Never you. That is what I see. I do not agree. But I trust you. I shall consider what you said, okay? Okay. It's cool to Thank see their stories to me. develop over the course Fred. of these follow-ups that you do as you unlock their friendship levels. So this is, I think this is huge. Um, now, if she, if we knock an enemy through a portal, which is basically her entire deck setup right now, there's a 25 chance, a 25% chance we can generate another Limbo portal card. And that means with her buffs to damage going through portals, like, I feel as if that should be triggering quite regularly. And we should be just slamming people. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. It is. What do we got in here? Lessons in Leadership by Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. Uh, it's epic, but we'll buy this for Cap. Hmm. Squadron Supreme. Wonder Man. It's probably Captain Marvel, maybe? It's rare. We could probably leave it. Advanced Photography. Teaching advanced techniques to improve your shooting, including shots and taking better action shots, and how to sell photographs to potential clients. Who's into photography? Actually, not sure. Hey, All right. can I ask a favor? Blades got me on a new training regimen. Which of these do you think I should work on first? Give her, actually, give her the injury chance, and then if she gets an injury, we just put her into combat therapy, and she gets a combat bonus. Plus, we get an epic Nico ability. Oh, thanks, Hunter. Double up. Generate a copy of each attack, skill, or heroic in your hand, and this is whichever version it is is selected randomly when drawn. Uh, that could be pretty cool. What would we replace with this? Maybe a blood magic? It kind of depends when you get that, obviously, but yeah. Let's give her one of our compliments. I marvel at how that levels her up. Such a young so age. we can do that tomorrow. Let's decrypt What's this big epic tell? cache. Tony might take all the credit for this thing, but just okay. imagine where we'd be right now. Epic ability and voice. modded rare abilities available. This should keep someone busy. None of these are expiring, so that's very nice. Stay out of trouble. Let's take a look at our mission types here. So the story mission is strange for an artifact and a gamma coil, which we do need an artifact soon. Uh, we got a bunch of essences, but I could always use more. This is a hard mission. Summoning circle for credits, the rare thing, gamma coil, epic with cap and I actually wouldn't mind doing that because getting some more cards in the caps deck would be great and Nico where we have to defeat a nest mother for epic blueprints could be nice too um, I'm thinking we probably do operations assault with Captain America next there you are hunter please join me when you have a moment I'm I insist trying to talk to you what do you think of Logan it's good to have him here again. He's always been a trusted friend. But the real question is, have you been a trusted friend to him? I'm not sure I like what you're implying. Man, we've just you been slamming the caretaker track record lately. For keeping secrets is becoming quite <laughs> infamous. Ah, you're talking about keeping the others in the dark about Blaze holding the parchment. I am. It's not really a discussion I'm willing to have right now. Logan kept a secret for Agatha and I, and it saved our lives. It must have been, what, 1985? 84? I was born in 84. I remember because Agatha crimped her hair and shoulder pads and <laughs> cast some strange spell over my wardrobe. <gasps> That's good. We looked quite ridiculous, but we were 
Happy? Well, happy until a rather disturbed coven of witches by the name of the Salem Seven invaded our home. What did you do to provoke their ire? Oh, I see. You think I did something wrong. But it wasn't me they were upset with. It was Agatha. See, the Salem Seven were her grandchildren by her son Nicholas Scratch. They tried to kidnap their grandmother? They felt she had betrayed which kind by choosing to live among humans and came to drag her back to New Salem by force. Logan was staying with us when they invaded our home. He hid us in a secret passage and refused to tell them where we were. Hmm. He kept our secret and fought them off long enough for Agatha to invoke a banishing spell. Without him, they would have surely kidnapped her. Or maybe worse. There were some pretty obvious discussions about how deeply entrenched they were, so it's kind of cool to get that expounded on. I hope you were able to exact revenge on them. Give them the justice they deserve. Agatha did penalize them by finding a way to take away some of their powers for good. I wanted her to do more, but she wouldn't go further than that against her own family, no matter how dysfunctional or dangerous it had become. Speaking of dysfunctional family dynamics, I do trust you, you know, even though I don't always show it. I know. Even though you don't always show it? <laughs> Something like that. Common ground. Who would have thought? Okay. So what is our current balance at? 167. Wow. Now, uh, notice here, this book is closed and I can no longer investigate it. I will check back at that. Um, later. Emo kids for life. To see if that changes. Oh, you are gonna Okay, item bench two. Unlock additional items for crafting. That'll be nice. Before they know it, hit him. Hero ops gain bonus hero requirements and rewards. And then I need to get into seven, and I need to upgrade Nico abilities, actually. So that's interesting. Heroes draw a card when an ally knocks an enemy into them. That's also very cool. So I got to take Wolverine. Wolverine and Cap and the Hunter. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, maybe. They both have a lot of taunt, which is kind of interesting. Item bench. Let's go. Fascinating. Just a random Iron Man arm. Love it. Tony is working. Combat item slot three. Craft twelve combat items, which we've done, but we just need to reach this this high level here. Okay. Hey Hunter. Always up for a challenge. Sometimes I even impress myself. Well, I'll double up. I mean, we could look at. Um, Upgrading that. Patience is very cool. It's How a power long card. You you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's, it's just, it's a lot of damage. And we, we have some discard stuff where that doesn't really play nice. Surgical strike, we already have two of those. This is modded though for more damage. Ooh, that actually might be worth taking. And fury is modded with more damage here. Um... I just don't see us going using Fury, to be honest. But a modded Surgical Strike that we upgrade could be kind of cool. Let's take this, and what's the upgrade here? Generates a copy sure of Charlie each attack skill or heroic in your hand. Matter, so let's say generate a copy of each attack in your hand when drawn. Generate a copy of each attack skill or heroic in your hand. What's the difference here? Oh, it removes exhaust. Oh. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't even realize it had exhaust before. I could have re-rolled too, but I'm happy with those. Uh, ability crafting. One thing are, we're going to do is we are going to craft using our legendary blueprint. Oh! Wait a second. Uh... Wait, can these not be upgraded? Later. No, I'm sure we can. Annihilation. We can upgrade this. It's a legendary. Heroic. Why can I not craft this? For us? I have a legendary blueprint. It just All right, here's the plan. I'll hit this it thing just doesn't with the big show hammer here. and you transform it into something useful. What am I missing? That's all I can expect of your contribution then. No materials analysis, no tactical projections, nothing. Nope. I'm huh. feeling hands on today. Just going to hammer stuff and see how it goes. You do your thing. Ugh, Sorry, you might hear Walter there. That's interesting. Um I wonder if I'm overlooking okay, something. Maybe I can't... I would say... It, my argument would be maybe I can't craft... Um, like, their ultimate heroics here, but like... Bladestorm, I definitely can. I can craft that. Summon Charlie didn't show up there either. Right? Forge is a powerful tool. I wonder if it's something to do with like, is is this can I is the scrolling bugged or something? I don't know. I'm gonna have to find out because that's what I want to use that blueprint for. Farewell. Let's look to see what kind of combat items we have now. Okay, so blessed blade, give attack cards in your hand critical for the rest of the mission. Mm. Select heroes to taunt. I like that. Nanite Edge. Select a hero. Their attacks apply two bleed for one turn. That's really nice. Because you could use that on something like um, Iron Man's thing where he hits everybody. That's pretty cool. Targeting module. Select a hero. Apply two mark to a random enemy targeting them. Maybe. Obsidian a Thame. We could play around with. Don't discard their next played hero card. Discard the rest of your hand instead. I kind of like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one. This should be useful. And vampiric essence is on cooldown. I do like having the recovery nanobots this will do available. I feel like this one's kind of nice too, gaining two heroism right off the go. It's not bad if you don't have a better option, you know. So we'll upgrade that Nico ability because we need to. Back again. For research purposes. I could upgrade Swarm as well. Both for her are actually nice. Haha, <laughs> nothing's gonna stop me now. Okay. Iron Man, what do you got? That surgical strike, we could mod that up. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. Spider-Man. Got that whip. Just don't know about that one yet. Hunger. Okay, let's do his whip. That'll hit us on a training level as well. Okay, so vaulting's even stronger. Next is explosives. Sparring-wise, friendship XP. Uh, blueprint. This is very cool. And chance to resist negative status effects. Okay. Maybe... Maybe Ghost Rider here? For the friendship XP? <laughs> like playing with... 
Okay. It's got a 6% chance. It's not too crazy. Okay. Um, I'm going to find out about the crafting of those abilities. I'm, I'm obviously overlooking something because they're both not available. Uh, we'll take Cap and we'll take Wolverine because we want to build These out their the their decks a little bit more so we could use the uh, Gamma Coil for that. Uh, but in here, we could keep sending, like, Ghost Rider to get some of his more epic abilities. Um, who else? Even Magic, maybe? Let's send if we had some rookies, I'd ghosty. send them out for the experience. But I think we're past that. And let's send maybe Blade. See what kind of modded ability he gets. Or you know what? Let's send Strange. I'll take it my highest priority. Hit I think his abilities modded could be quite unique. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I know this episode is going to be mainly just uh, Abbey exploration. And I found a lot of stuff, but there's a couple things I still don't know where they are. I'm probably missing some, like, offshoot somewhere here. Like, this area looks kind of suspiciously empty if I look at this whole thing. Um, so, I don't know. If you guys have ideas, let me know and we'll we'll go from there. But... Uh, we also have our combat bonus, so we should be set. And we'll see you guys at the next Missione. Okay, bye now.